guys, how's it going? Tracy here. Today I have a pretty large um, mall haul. Um, I haven't spent a lot of money in a very long time, especially on clothing and like perfumes and all that kind of stuff. And I just kind of had like an itch where it's like, I just need to spend some money. So I decided um, to do some shopping at the Mall of America and a couple other places. So I just wanted to put it all together in a video for you. So yeah, so let's just get started. So the first place um, I did get things is from Starbucks. Um, I just got this regular Starbucks mug. It's ceramic and then it has a top that comes out. I actually ordered this online and it came to me broken. So I was kind of like not very happy about it, but um, they replaced it perfectly fine for me. And I think I might bedazzle this. That was like one of my um, things to maybe do with it. So we'll see. And then the next thing I got was this um, really cool mermaid tumbler. This one actually has like a shiny lid on it, which I think is really, really pretty. But so I ended up getting that. Um, I think mermaids are a beautiful, beautiful. So this I definitely will just um, use like your regular coffee and all that kind of stuff. But since she's pretty, and this was on sale too on their website. I think it was it was originally um, twenty bucks, and I think I got it for like thirteen. So that was awesome. So the Starbucks stuff that I did, I bought online. So now let's do um, the things that I got at the Mall of America. So these are just like different stores that um, the Mall of America uh, carries. So, yeah. So the Mall of America actually just opened their first NYX cosmetics store. So that's what the bag looks like. So I ended up getting a couple things from there. And I only got a couple things because there was a couple um, blushes I was trying to get. And unfortunately, um, and unfortunately, they didn't have them at the store. They were all sold out. And so, um, but I ended up getting um, this glitter glue. And this is just for um, your eyes and your lips and wherever you need to put um, glitter. And it just helps it stick. And then I did get two shades of the lingerie lipsticks. I've heard good and bad reviews about both of these. Um, so we will see. Uh, the colors I got were embellishment and um, bedtime flirt. And I think I like the bedtime flirt um, better than the embellishment. But um, the colors in the line were very very neutral nudie browns um so uh we'll see how it goes but i got those and then the last thing i did pick up after i moved um i a lot of my makeup got shuffled around and there was a couple of things i couldn't find so i ended up getting um, another NYX pencil in milk. I think I might have used it up, but I don't know for sure. I know it was really small, so it could have just got lost in, you know, the mess. But, um, and I got that too. So, that's what I got at the NYX store. Um, the next place I went to was just, um, Forever 21. Um, I really like Forever 21 for, like, leggings and, like, basics. I don't really buy too much there like um like coats and things like that but they had a lot of cute um thing they had some cute things so i really went there just for leggings so i got uh four pairs of leggings <laughs> for work because these are just really comfortable and um nice so they're just these long um pants which is fine by me and then so I got um four of those and then um at the counter I was checking out and I saw these super cute socks so I ended up getting um these fox socks and these are only a dollar ninety so like two bucks super cute and then I got these ones the little cows on them they're so cute 
then I got these ones with the little mouthies. And then the last ones I got were these ones with the pineapples. I don't know, I thought they'd be just like really cute for like summer and stuff. So, yeah. So that's Forever 21. And then, um, I usually don't shop at this next store. Um, I had a return that I needed to do for my sister, so, um, I just kind of browsed in there for a second. And I found some, actually, some really good stuff that I can use for work. And it was at a, um, pretty good, decent price. So that's Rainbow. So I ended up getting, I've actually worn a couple of these, so let me... So I got this um, pink shirt, and then it has little cutouts on the sides, and it's longer in the back, so I can wear it with leggings, and it'll cover everything that I need it to. So I got one of those. And then I got this um, kind of like lacy sleeve shirt with um, the gold buttons, and I thought it would be just really nice for um, work for like in this, like when it gets really hot. So that. And then um, I have one of the shirts on that I'm wearing right now. You can see it. It's very like flowy and it has the slit. And then it has a little pocket detailing, which um, I think is really cute. And then I ended up getting this black um, dress. It's super flowy and it has short sleeves. Um, I have kind of one like this already in my collection, but... Um, I thought it would look really, really nice. Um, it would be really great for summer, too. You can never have a couple things that are about the same, you know. It's fine. And then the last thing I bought from there was this long, just plain, basic black shirt. And it's shorter in the front, and then it has the long back with the slip through there. So... Just some basics for work. Um, I got mostly black because I feel like every single time we have a class or corporate comes, they always tell us, like, please dress in black. So it's just easy. Everything looks good together. You don't have to fuss too much about it. So that's so what I got at Rainbow. The next place I went to was um, Marshall's. And we have a pretty big Marshalls in my Mall of America, which is actually super nice. Um, I don't shop there very often. I usually go to the ones like outside of the mall. But I was about to leave and I was like, well, I'll just like mosey on over there. Like not thinking, you know, I'm going to find anything. But um, I actually found like a lot of like good deals. So. so the first thing I picked up were these Puma socks. Um, I think you get like eight pairs in here, which is awesome. Or six pairs. And my cat loves to um, chew on like soft stuff. So he's eaten a lot of my socks. So these are just kind of like a must. I need them. And they're nice and light for summer. And um, they'll be good for winter too. So I got these. And these are only like eight bucks. Which is really nice. So then the really big purchase that I made at um, Marshall's. I have been needing um, perfume forever. I keep, I pretty much have used all of my designer perfumes up. But it's always such a hassle of having to buy them. Because they're so expensive. Like one of my favorite ones is um, Chance by Chanel. And it's like almost $100 for a bottle. So I just... It's just really hard to justify, you know, spending that kind of money. So when I found um, this kind of stuff at Marshall's, I was super excited. So the first, so everything that I'm going to show you now was um, already reduced because it was already at Marshall's and because it was actually, and then they put it on another um, clearance, which is fucking amazing. So the first thing I saw was this Honey by Marc Jacobs, and it's the full size. It's the the 3.4 ounce. This was originally $68, and then they had a, another clearance on it and had it marked down for 32. 
So I got this. Um, I've smelled it before. It smells really good. Marc Jacobs has really, really good perfume, you guys. But it's just so expensive. Like, this was, like, it was originally, like, almost like $120 and then they marked it down from 68 and then I got it for 32 Psh, You can't beat that. And then I ended up getting another Marc Jacobs uh, perfume because it was also on clearance. I've never smelled this one before but um, I'm pretty sure it will be fine. So I got um, Lola and this was also marked down um, to $32 and it's Complete full size, never been opened, so I'm really excited um, to have some more um, high-end perfumes in my collection because, like I said, like I'm getting really low. I just haven't wanted to spend the money. And then the next perfume I got was um, uh, Viva La Juicy. This one was originally fifty dollars, and I got it for twenty-four. And I'm pretty sure I've smelled this one before. This one's their one fluid ounce, so it's not the complete full size. But um, it'll do the job. And I'm excited to try it and put it in my collection. And all of these bottles are, I should open them. They're probably super pretty. And then this last purchase, I was like, do I really want to do this? I don't know. But I did because I've heard a lot of other YouTubers say that the smell is awesome. It's really good. And if you can um, find it, pick it up. And so I ended up getting the Justin Bieber Girlfriend um, perfume. This is a 1.7 ounce, so it's not completely the full size. This was originally only um, $22, and I got it for $10. So I'm guessing it's just the box size, and then the perfume's probably really small. But um, I thought all of these, you guys, were such a good deal. Um, I couldn't pass them up. So that's everything that I got at Marshall's. And then the last two places I went, um, kind of splurged a little bit, uh, weren't at the Mall of America, but, um, they were by stores around me. So I ended up going to, um, Saks, Saks Fifth Avenue, um, off of Fifth. And this is a very high-end, um, department store um we have an outlet here in egan that um i got this from and what i picked up there was um these ray-bans ray-ban sunglasses they're originally 130 and i got them for um 68 dollars and then um, I took another 20% off because they were having like a sale. And I broke my Marc Jacobs sunglasses and I've been still trying to replace them. But um, these were super cute. The price was awesome. You, I couldn't um, pass them up, you know. So I'll put them on for you. But I think they're super cute for summer. And I know some people will say, why spend all that money when you can get a regular sunglasses? for super cheap and I'm like I don't know I just I like the quality and the look of them and it's my money and yeah and sunglasses will last you guys forever so I think they're super cute and adorable and I think that was a very good purchase but, and then the last place I went was Ulta because I have not bought I haven't went into an Ulta, you guys, in for so long. So, I ended up getting, like, a couple things. I didn't, I didn't go, like, all out. I'm trying to wait. There's a lot of stuff I have in my cart on um, Ulta.com. I'm just waiting for the stupid 20% off of your entire purchase. And then I'll make a big, then I can justify me buying all the stuff that I want but um like I said I could not find the NYX blushes that I wanted to try so I went to Ulta just to get these of course I bought a little bit more but um I ended up buying these two um this one is soft flesh or soft flesh and this one is strictly chic and I just think they're really pretty this one super pretty peachy color for um, summer 
And then this one is a little bit more of a darker peach strawberry. I thought they're really, really pretty. And they were buy one, get one 50% off. So, um, you can't beat it. So I ended up getting those. And then I was kind of just browsing around. That's all I wanted. But, you know, you got to look. And I found out that the um, Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks were on sale. Because they're reformulating their lipsticks. So um, they have a sale going on. So I ended up picking up two. I picked up um, one in Native and the other one in Sheer um, Viper. So this, the native is their matte formula. Let's see if I'll open it for you. So this is their matte formula. And then uh, um, sheer vipe or sheer um, vapor is their um, sheer formula and they were super pretty I don't have any I think Urban Decay lipsticks and they were only $11 each um, so technically you buy one get one 50% off because they're originally 22 and actually the new ones that they're coming out with with the new formulations are going to be even cheaper they're going to be 17 so I might um, jump on the bandwagon and um, get a couple of those and try them out but yeah mm -hmm. But I'm really excited um, to try the Urban Decay um, lipsticks. And then the last thing I bought was something that I just kind of needed to replace. I um, I got a Real Technique Real Techniques um, powder brush. I use this all the time. Um, the one that I have is getting a little bit beat up. So my beautiful face just needs makeup all the time. Um, but I found out that um, this one is made by um, Sam and Nick. Chapman so I don't know if it's a different person or what but um yeah so I ended up getting that all right you guys so that's everything that I picked up in um, my mall I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to my channel I really really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys later bye